Marbella in Derby. Fucking hell. Look at the size of it. A 125-seater restaurant with a 21-bedroom hotel attached. A big undertaking, especially if the state of the outside is anything to go by. Fuck me, even the gondola looks fucked. Hello. Hello. Good evening, Mr Ransley. Gordon. Gordon. And? Daniela. Daniela, how are you? Fine. <laughs> all Good. the better for seeing you. Uh, Thank you for coming to uh, our Not at all. God, it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, it's like going back in time. It is. It's a bit of a time warp. Um, how old is it? Um, nearly 40 years old. Really? Even the floorboards are... I know, creaking. Creaking as well. Fantastic. Anyone under there? Uh, no, there's the wine cellar. Oh, okay. My lovely old wine, so yes. Fantastic. It's Friday night, 8 o'clock, and you can hear a few clinking plates in there, but um, the place sounds empty. How many's booked for dinner? Four. Four? Yes, a table of four, and that's all. And that is our problem. We have this beautiful restaurant, and it's empty most of the time. One question I've got to ask. Why the hell did you buy it if you've never run a restaurant or a hotel before? Well, when my mother died and I went through a divorce, it was the one thing one night that kept me going. And I thought, that's what I'll do. I'll buy La Gondra. And mm. all night long, I just dreamt of this place. Oh, some customers coming now. Sorry. OK. Good night. Good night. Good night. Did you enjoy dinner? Yes, thanks. Excellent. Yeah. Damn, I think they left their teeth on the table. From its 70s chandeliers to its plastic flowers, the restaurant is well and truly past it. It's like stepping back in time, isn't it? It is. And I wondered whether, should we really decorate it or wait till the fashion turns and come back to Gosh. it? I mean... But it'll be too late if the business goes down the pan first. 